just talking about these relays, the electromagnet is behind there. And what it does is it pushes all of these contacts and it actually pushes it forwards. So these at the front here, they actually disconnect from the top wires and the ones in the middle actually connect to those wires. And um, with each relay there's up to five different switches that you can have. Now these are called normally open contacts and these are called normally closed contacts. And you can see that some of them are spare, but some of them are paralleled up. So I reckon that these are the buttons inside the lift. But unless you know that, don't touch anything. Do the wrong switch, you could be flying across the room. I'm just hoping that someone gets in the lift. Ah, yes it is, look. That's down buttons, level 1, 2, 3 and 4. And that's the up buttons on 1, 2, 3 and 4. And that must be the car buttons, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And they are all open. At the bottom here, these are all the cables that come up the lift shaft. And they connect into all the terminals at the bottom here. And when this was manufactured, probably all the connections on this side would have already been prepared and wired into this whole cabinet. So all of the installers have to do is just wire up the bottom bits. It. it was up there to start with, yeah. Doesn't do anything. Well, it does, but um, it probably takes it in and out of service. That's what it is. That's to put the lift in service, so no one can use it. And winding. <laughs> oh no, I can't do that. If you switch that on, put it in service, switch that on, and then you can just turn the big wheel. We can go up and down manually. It's like no one's getting in. I wish somebody would. See the lift with the doors open. It's on the top floor. Here's a door release key. I've not seen one of these before. All it is is just a metal bar. That's all it is. There's no V on it or U on it. So that is used to open the landing doors if you need to open them and the lift's not there. I wish someone would get in so we can have another look at this. Right, you did not see this. You did not see this. It's one floor. Here comes the next floor. You did not see this. One floor. Second floor. Comes to the third floor. Stop. So there's no actual slowdown on this, it's just um, I think what we call crash leveling. So that is definitely the levelling, that tells it where to stop. So that is the floor. I'm not sure what this one does. So if we look, does that one ever go out at all? Oh, there is that. Does, but there's another one that side as well on the same um, rail. This one, again, I'm guessing here. You did not see this, and I'm doing this with a bit of wire so I'm not touching anything. I've made an educated guess from my experience with lifts that that is the um, call button outside. Don't ever, ever touch anything in a lift motor room unless you know what you're doing. Yeah, 
see that goes into there, look, that's the floor. This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna film the um, selector from above, and then it's time to get the hell out of here. One more, I want to film that brake coming off because that is really wicked. And then we're going to get the hell out of here. Where is it now? Let's just do the bottom floor. It's got teeth on it. See those teeth? And it actually turns that around. Oh, that is really cool. Right now, I need to get the hell out of here. So I think I've overdone my stay here now. <laughs> needed on older lifts so that you can um, stand on top of the lift car on the top floor and um, if it overruns it doesn't go smack into the ceiling so you need a, bit, a little bit of extra room in these old lift rooms. It looks like this. There was originally something going around that selector look. Can you see on the side? It's originally in a box but I need to get out of here now. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> a triangular key. I'll show you on the ground floor. Can't really take lift shaft photos because there's no room to get the camera up there. But that is the only addition, only addition really. The uh, photoelectric uh, beam. These ones don't latch in actually, they just press and release. switch. Actually, is it the floor slitter? No, it's not. What's that do? 
if that spring pulls down too far, it activates a switch and stops the lift from working. This is absolutely amazing. I'm loving every minute of this. Oh, it does work, though. Just about. <laughs> 